This is one of the greatest Terraria mods that I myself have never played. It has some of the sickest boss designs I've ever seen from a Terraria mod. So let's hop in game and check out just how crazy this mod is. We are here checking out an older Terraria mod from Team Mother 1.3. I'm kind of hyped to check this out. It's Ultranium. Ultraanium? Ultra Anus. Nah, this is a mod though that people always show love to, but I really don't remember playing it a single time. Maybe this is just a mod that was always showing up and I just never clicked on it. That happens a couple of times with mods, but I really don't remember anything about this mod. But I'm very excited to check it out. Obviously, we're in OGT mod loader. Oh my. I gotta look at this biome. This is sick. And then I believe there's another new structure over here too. What is this? A little some some. I have no idea what the hell this is. But yeah, Ultranium. Let's get into it. I'm excited. Again, I haven't really touched it. Don't know much about it. But the first boss from this mod is this little dude right here, Zephyr Squid. This has to be an ocean boss. It has to be. Boom. There's the squid. So you start with a bait and you gotta fish it up, sort of like the Duke. Hold up, music bumping. This music sounds so peaceful. This does not sound like Terraria music. But we got the Zephyr Squid. In terms of sprite, all the Ultranium sprites look pretty good. We gotta remember this is older team mod loader modding era so the boss fights might not be as intense as nowadays but i can still respect a good boss with decent attacks and variety and from what i'm seeing here for a boss you're supposed to fight po post brain i think post eater area not bad and the music is bumping i can't lie i'm trying to get jiggy to this music do we have any other attacks though and or phases or does it just speed up like most terror bosses as its health goes down that's what it looks like so let's head on to the next, which is a post-Skeletron boss, I believe. Only two pre-hard mode bosses. A majority of this content is in post-Moon Lord, which is very nice. I do like me some post-Moon Lord content. Next boss from this mod, Glacieron. Glacieron? Sounds like a Pokemon. Hey, my boy pulling up. Okay, we got a little ice dragon here. You can never go wrong with dragons slash wyverns in any game, honestly. Oh, hello. My boy got a banger. This sounds insanely loud. I'm going to have to lower it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it sounds so loud to me i gotta put it down but yeah what do we got in terms of attacks we got the bumping music he's got little ice spikes he has a little ice breathy shout out too and then he does a little dash towards us is that all though from our boy glacieron where's this health bar at? his health bar kind of disappeared hold up phase two what you about to do okay he brings in the blizzard bring in more of his element does he get a little bit crazier okay he's got some more attacks he love to see it post skeletron boss so i expect it to be kind of tough because post skeletron this pretty much what wall of flesh deer clops i guess deer clops doesn't really deserve to be your post skeletron or any of that area if i'm being honest but oh my boy got the big tornado hold up something like a uh, ice version of yarn from the calamity mod set of fire tornado we got ice but I think we have seen everything from this boss. It's got a good variety of attacks, especially for pre-hard mode. But it is time we enter and see the hard mode bosses. The next boss is called Dread, and we have to fight it at nighttime. This is a pre-mech boss. So a pre-mech boss, you fight it at nighttime. I came over here to its biome just because I think you can fight it anywhere, though. Let's bring in Dread. What you got for us? Whoa. That boy spinning. Hold up. I kind of want to turn on. Let me turn on the brightness a little bit. Okay, that didn't help at all. It's still an insanely dark fight. <laughs> they said on the wiki that this boss is similar to Plantera. I don't think Plantera shoots flames at us. So I don't know if I can see the similarities other than it's slowly floating towards us. It's got crazy attacks so far. That little flamethrower spasmatism type of attack is kind of insane. So far, I'm seeing like five, six, seven attacks even from this one boss. Kind of insane. And it's still showing more. Okay, I see you, Dread. I respect it. This might be my favorite one so far. He just looks really cool, really intimidating. I like the uh, effects and the glowing on it. Like, it's pretty nice in terms of ambience. And just the theme, this red, vivid color in the darkness. Pretty sick looking, especially the flames. But as we do more damage to Dread here, does the fight get any harder or does it stay around the same? It's looking like it stays about the same, but it has so many attacks that, like, it really doesn't matter. Maybe there's a phase two? Nope. There we go. Dread, though, easily my favorite. Let's keep it going to the next hard mode boss, which is Zananis, I think. We also fight this boss at night. Let's bring him in. Damn, 63,000 health. This is after Plantera is when you're supposed to fight him. Okay, I like how he makes the little background purple. He's a little bit tinier. He's on the smaller scale in terms of the other and recent bosses who've just been pretty massive, I think. A decent size. He's not that small, actually. The music, again, bumping. All the music from this mod has been great. Hopefully, none of it's copyrighted. Oh, I like this attack. 
This attack looks sick and is also pretty unique to see. He also had like a barrier on the outside when he was doing that attack, so maybe you can't pass that barrier while fighting him. He does seem to have a lot of health, so I might have to pull out a better weapon or put some armor on. Then put some armor on. Boom, right here, while he's doing this attack, what if I pass the barrier? Oh, I literally can't. I thought it was going to be something where you get like a debuff if you pass it. No, you literally just can't pass it. But in terms of attacks, it's pretty cool. It's got some cool stuff. I, I still like the other dude better, Dread. Hold up, what's going on here? You got like these two tornadoes. Whoa, my boy brought in some homies. Call some backup on us. So he's got some apparitions. Kind of reminds me of how uh, Supreme Cow will bring in her brothers. Whoa, my game froze for a second there. Did you see that? They got some cool attacks though, the, the little apparitions he brought in. And it seems like we actually have to kill them. Okay, we have killed the apparitions. Back to fighting Zananus himself, themselves, Zananus? Zenanus? I still don't know. But I'm assuming we have seen pretty much everything. Maybe a couple new attacks here, but it was a pretty cool fight. Pretty unique. Has some type of things that I've, I haven't seen too much before. But with those hard mode bosses dead that means everything else from this point is post moon lord bosses and i'm very excited because also i heard that one of these bosses is pretty big and with me doing that giant or the biggest bosses in modded terraria such terraria video i'm kind of excited to see just how big it is hey yo pause all right so the next two bosses here are from this little thing right here look at this we get the ancient nature relic and ancient hell relic and these both make the next boss spawner yes sir i'm excited let's check these ones out i think i'm gonna go back to the biome over here because i like this biome let's bring them in though we got ultra whoa did he just fart this dude looks kind of sick though i like the green i'm messing with the green i kind of really like the theme of this mod the dark colors and then they got the little bright vivid colors to go along that's sort of their palette i mess with it there's something about it just looks good yeah first post moon lord boss i probably should use the tome now right the only problem is this is the og tome and i'm kind of scared of my insta killer do something dangerous let's see though Okay, we're good. I didn't do that much damage. Only 76,000 a second. So far, pretty tame attacks for it being a post moon lord boss. I expect these to ramp up like crazy as the fight goes on. Maybe mix for a more fun challenge doing both at once. If you can even do both at once. Hold up, my boy. Getting into that stage too. He makes some interesting noises. But still, in terms of attack, it's kind of light. It's not so crazy. It's not so turned up as I thought it was going to be. I do like the sound effects and the noises. It's actually a nice touch. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's what I'm expecting to see more of especially as we enter the post moon lord era but i think we have seen pretty much everything that this boss has to offer probably so let us finish it off hold up phase three oh we got a death animation oh my boy definitely has a phase three hold up he's bringing in a couple of new attacks here kind of dangerous too these are the type of attacks i was expecting the whole fight this is sort of his last ditch effort attack that he shoots out before he dies let's finish him though see you later ultram and with ultram dead we go straight in to the next one can i even go straight into the next one i'm be using the underworld oh hold up my bad my bad boom we got ignodium so this is like pretty much the underworld version of the boss we just fought the noises are exactly the same as the last boss but i really like him so i can't hate sounds like some a crash bandicoot boss or character would make in terms of attacks low-key kind of similar just like slightly different just like lava themed i guess and more explosive so let's go straight into the second phase here maybe honestly straight into the third phase but let's see let's see what kind of crazy stuff this one might have okay it's got another similar attack to the previous boss that's really all i'm seeing let's bring it into this little last ditch effort phase does a little circle of fireballs kind of similar to the circular attack that the other one did but i think we've pretty much seen enough right oh wait here we go here we go a little extra extra this is the real last ditch effort phase okay a little bit more dangerous than the other one it's got a couple more projectiles a little bit harder to dodge especially if you don't have a big arena but we've seen it all on to the last two big boys of this mod the hell it is time to have a rematch with dread but this time it's known as absolute dread i like the idea of a rematch with the boss sounds kind of sick oh here we go now i see the plantera comparisons it actually got some hooks on it so i believe it just starts off as its normal dread form but then as we do damage it goes into its absolute dread form 
Now the question is, what do I attack? Is it really the hooks that I attack? Okay, so we gotta actually damage and kill the hooks that it uses. Very interesting. I haven't seen that, or if at all, in modern Terraria. But let's do it. Let's take out all these hooks and let's see what happens to the fight. Do we gotta hit it directly now? What happens? Doing a little something. Oh my god. Imagine if Plantera did that. Terrifying. So now this is absolute dread. A bigger, scarier, more intimidating version of the regular dread. Hold up. The music is bumping. Got a vibe to the music for a bit. Ew, is he spitting blood at me? Yo, look how red it is. Maybe I should have been fighting them up in the sky because fighting them in that bind is insanely dark. This music going crazy, though. This drop better be crazy. Hold up. Listen, listen. Okay, I see him. Yeah, let's do some damage to Absolute Dread here. It's got a lot of attacks. This brings back the fire attack, which I messed with. The sprite itself is awesome, bro. This thing just looks sick. Definitely given like, uh, what is it called? What is Cthulhu? Something horror? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Those type of scary creatures by HP Lovecraft. It seems like it's gonna be a tough fight. It's a very agile mobile boss with a bunch of projectiles. So it's definitely gonna be hard. Let's do some damage though. Do you got any crazy attacks to show off before we take you out? Doesn't look like it. It looks like it cycled through a majority of the attacks. So I think it's time to take out Absolute Dread. Wait, what the hell? Attached a giant ball to us that exploded into a bunch of smaller projectiles. I see absolute dread has been defeated again. I think dread is my favorite boss. We are in the dark ass biome. Now to fight this next boss, we actually have to do an event and fight a mini boss in it. And that activates the final boss. So we're going to pop the dark resonator and look at that. The abyssal Armageddon has begun. This is visually probably one of the coolest biomes I've been in. Minus like starlight river biomes. Oh my God. What's that? something summoning abyssal wraith that's just a regular enemy that just spawned in yeah look at all these demons and nasty creatures that are coming to attack me this is terrifying i'm legit getting jumped out here so we are waiting for a certain mini boss to spawn from this aka the mind flare i don't know if i gotta do damage to some of the enemies for it to spawn or if it's just a completely random spawn who knows i think i'm gonna just bring it in manually at this point though. boom the mind flare looks terrifying let's see the type of moves it has it is a mini boss but this is a respectable mini boss because it's a post moon lord one on a post moon lord event it's gonna have a lot of health and damage but upon us defeating this dude this will allow us to take on the final boss that is in this mod and i'm kind of excited i need to see this final boss i think my favorite thing this mod does is the little like screams and roars that you hear i don't know if i recorded it i might have to like get a clip of it but there was a nice little roar and then the messages in chat will pop up it's kind of sick crazy very very terrifying let's do some damage though mind flare is just a mini boss we've probably seen all of his attacks already so let's take it out the darkness thickens uh oh uh oh who's about to pull up on us bro okay i've been sitting here for a minute waiting for the uh big boy boss to spawn in it just hasn't been spawning in I don't know how many enemies I had to kill, but I killed a lot. Like two banners worth. So I'm going to bring it in manually myself. Let's do it. Erebus has awoken. Damn. It's a big ass worm. Hold up. It just keeps going. Where's the end of it? There it is. People said this thing was huge. Or they said some boss from this mod was huge. He ain't that big. Dang. He is terrifying though. You guys know how I feel about my worm bosses though. I'm not a big fan, but if this worm has enough unique stuff, you know, something cool enough, then I'm fine with it being a worm boss. You just gotta show me a little something. In terms of looks though, I'm messing with it. It passes the looks test. Everything in this mod passes the looks test. Now the question is, can I just hit this thing anywhere? It seems like I could hit it anywhere, but does it potentially take more damage on the tail, the mouth? I don't know. What is that that he's doing? Oh. That's his little tell for the dash. Okay, let's do some damage. I'm kind of scared to grab it and damage it because I don't want to do that. Wait, maybe that was supposed to happen. I didn't do anything dumb. It's supposed to do this phase two. Oh my God. My boy coming out of the portal like he's dog. Devourer of God's type beat. What else he got for us? This is definitely the most intimidating, scary boss so far in this mod. Easily. Reminds me of like the... Uh, What's the, what's the name of the giant weird worm from Calamity? The underwater one? Primordial worm? Something like that. Or even something from uh, Subnautica. That's pretty much what that worm boss is based on. But yeah, in, in terms of uh, just 
how scary this boss is it marks off the list i don't know about the attacks so far oh here we go we got a couple of different attacks it's honestly hard i'm pr i'm pretty rough on a worm boss at this point because i see so many bro but this one is slowly starting to get there some of these attacks i'm seeing now yeah it's definitely starting to get there the more attacks i see the more i mess with the heavy but i think we've seen a lot of it i think it's time for us to get erebus up out of here now the question is what am i supposed to hit i can't even hit it anymore. what am i supposed to hit now is it the little like orbs floating around it dude i cannot even keep up with this thing it's legit doing donuts on us what am i supposed to hit the little balls next to its face that okay yeah that's definitely what i'm supposed to hit damn it's kind of hard to hit i can't even grab it i'm having trouble grabbing his balls i have defeated all the balls now let's finish the boss off hold up it keeps on hiding in its portal it's making it tough to finish it off maybe that's a little bit of like a dps thing that you can't just insta kill it it runs away in his portal but there we go erebus is dead that might be my favorite one next to dread but i really do like dread so i don't know the darkness fades and finally we have killed all the bosses in this mod now let's quickly go ahead and run through everything else because this video is probably already long enough we got the little biome down here now i believe there's certain sections of this biome you're not supposed to be able to enter until hard mode and then there's some that you can explore uh, in pre hard mode but in terms of looks i mess with it it's got a very cool theme this whole mod just has a cool theme and i like that there is a couple of different variations in the cave like this weird purple glowing mushroom mod. let us quickly go through some of the weapons and armor sets here i guess really just breeze through the armor sets just get a nice little look at the visuals i got no complaints in terms of the sprite works from this mod they look great especially for its time and era okay the team i learned 1.3 era but now let's just start grabbing some random weapons and see what's popping we got summon weapons all right where do you summon little tiny ball what, what even is that blood dripper uh -huh, okay little tiny uh dripler that we spawned in boom i got a weapon from erebus nahil hold up my boy mog what does this do okay so it spawns in these little tiny projectiles that slowly home in around the area mess with it it's cool what else we got ray gun hold up call of duty ray gun it doesn't make the pew 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 you know the noise i'm talking about that's a developer item though so it don't even matter honestly let's just do this we're gonna organize by weapons and i'm gonna just grab some of the coolest weapons from the mod some of the coolest and hard hitting we got a yo-yo whoa i like that that's actually sick Take notes, Vanilla Terraria. Yo-yos can do things. What about this? What's the summon? Okay, so we get our own little Erebus. I mess with that. I like when uh, you get summons from bosses, and it's pretty much a smaller version of the boss. Like, is that not a perfect idea that should be done every time? We got the Death's Rays, which is a little, what is this, range weapon? Cool little range weapon. Definitely different. Doesn't just shoot, like, straight line projectiles. We got a, I don't even know, Eldritch Disc. So some boomerang type weapons. Staff of Horror pretty basic hell zone wait that's a fargo's mod weapon i think fargo's trying to sneak his way into this mod review we got uh this the soul orb staff that throws we got a book paranoia the weapons are cool i got no complaints they're they're what you would expect from this era of terraria it's kind of hard to compare them to like modern day terraria weapons because modern day terraria weapons for mods even vanilla game are kind of crazy like they've definitely upped the level up so much that it's probably gonna be hard to compete especially if you're an older mod like this but yeah shout out everyone that has worked on the Ultranium mod i don't know if it's coming out again or not for uh, tmod 1.4.4 because every time i do a video checking out older mods like this and i question if the mod is being updated to the recent version everyone just always says yes it's either yes it's being worked on or like there's ideas of it being worked on so i don't know hopefully we see some of these mods from these older tmod loader stuff and we'll see them in the current tmod loader era i don't know but from people that are telling me in the comments every video for this series they're like yeah it's coming so hopefully this is one of them that's also coming pause but make sure to leave a like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you guys don't miss future videos especially in this series make sure to leave comments tell me what other mods you want me to check out in this old 1.3 team mod loader series i will be seeing y'all in the next video have a good one